Command line interface is one of the preferred way for nerds like us to get stuff done. People who are better essentially in using the keyboard than the mouse. In this video, we will learn how to build a JavaScript command line interface using Node.js that run from anywhere in your command terminal. Our example will be building a command line utility called touch5, which is just a knockoff of the touch command that creates an HTML5 template file in instead. We will learn how to create the code, create a shortcut command for our code, and link it with the operating system so you can run it anywhere. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hussein, and in this channel, we discuss all sorts of software engineering by example. So if you want to become a better software engineer, consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. With that said, let's just jump into this video. Guys, all right, so let's go through a little bit of that touch command for those of you who don't know this command so the touch command essentially is a command that you basically give it a file and it will create the file wherever you want essentially it's in the same directory you don't specify a path and it will create it for you and it will run essentially anywhere you want okay so what i want to do is to create a knockoff for, uh, touch 5 command which you give it like index.html and this will create essentially an HTML5 version of that file, okay? It's just literally create a new file and then shove the HTML5 temp uh, uh, template in it, okay? Very simple step. Obviously, it doesn't exist, that's why I'm getting this error. So let's just jump into the code, guys. To start this, we need Visual Studio Code or any text editor. We need Node.js installed. Just go to nodejs.org and install that thing. Just make sure node-v gives you a result and you're good to go, right? So let's go ahead and create a new project. Go ahead and go file, open, and then I'm gonna create a new project called touch5 here. It's a brand new folder, nothing in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder, and then I'm going to create an index.js file, our entry point to this thing, okay? Let's start with just printing something simple. Hello, all right? And uh, to run this, you go to the terminal in the same folder, okay? There's an index.js. And if you do node index.js, you see that the command is executed. But you need to type literally node space index.js gml. So what, what we need here to, to build this application? Touch five, right? To build it, we need two things, right? We need the file name, right? So the user needs to specify node index.js and then space the file name on top of that, okay? And we need to get access to the current directory that this is executing. So, so two pieces of metadata. Where do we get it? Very simple stuff. There is a, a variable or argument that Node gives us. It's called argv. And if we printed this, right, let's go ahead and execute it. You can see that it's an array of arguments. And we get for free two arguments that <laughs> were useless for us. But the first argument is where node is running from. The second one is the input code that we want to execute, okay? And anything after that you add, like uh, say uh, my file will be added to this. And if you add something else, it's going to keep adding to that argument, okay? That ma makes sense? So this is what we want. So essentially the 0, 1, 2, the third argument is our file name, correct? So that's what we want to get. So that's our file name. The third argument is always going to be the file name that we will write to. The second thing we want to know is essentially where is this file again? And this is done by process.current working directly. And you execute this function and it's going to give you the current working directory, which happens to be the same directory that we are in. Okay. So two pieces of information. And this is a little bit different from underscore underscore dir, which we're gonna use later. Let's get let's just get into it, right? So let's erase that. I'm gonna write a new function called uh, function write HTML5 code. And here's what we need. We need obviously the file name, right? And we we said right argument dot argv sub two zero one two two is the third argument which is happened to be the file that we want to write and uh, we essentially want to write it to the disk 
to write it, we need a library, a fancy library called file system. So let's go ahead and require that file system library. It's called fs. And uh, if we do fs.write, before we require anything, we need to make my project into an npm project. We need to make it into a Node.js project. So to do that, literally just go to the command line and type npm init dash y that means just shut up i know what i'm doing don't ask me any question just create a package.json for me create a project okay the moment we do that we get a package.json which we're going to use later and it's going to give us this nice intelligence like this one because we didn't get it earlier right so now write file sync is what we want to use we're going to write this file synchronously we don't care about the synchronous right now it's just a simple test we want our code to look a little bit prettier and uh, we need to give us the path. The path is, guess what? It's the path, which is process.currentworkingdirectory slash the file name. The whole file name is this. That makes sense, right, guys? What do you want to write it? Write to? We just want to write HTML. Like, buddy, this is not an HTML5 template, but we're going to fix it, guys. But this is just to get the tires kicking. Okay. So we have that, looks good. We need to call this function. That's why it's a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can tell from my YouTube video. Hopefully I, I record in 4K so you can see these things. A little bit different. So now if I do a node index.js and I say my file.html, so you can see that, enter, I go to my file and look at that. It created a file called my father HTML and that's the HTML file. Again, this is not HTML5 code. We'll fix that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll fix it later. Okay, but now I have that. How about that? Nice. Except it's boring, Hussein. You want me to write all of this just to write that? Might as well just write the file myself. This is boring. Plus, this doesn't work everywhere, guys. It only works in the current directly. So, boring. How do we fix that? To fix it, we need to just establish this link that we talked about. And it's very simple stuff. Okay. So you go back to your folder. Let's delete this so you get you know guys don't get confused. So now we have two files, like the package.json, which we just created, which is this our project essentially, and then the index.js. I'm gonna create a file, essentially a bash file, which will be executed when the touch5 command is called, which doesn't exist yet, right? And I'm going to call it, so avoid confusion, I'm going to call it, I don't know, Martha, okay? Something else, right? I don't want to call it touch5, so you guys don't confuse that it has to be named touch5, right? And reading online, I get always confused between these two, so I'd like just to kind of separate thing concerns, right? As long as possible. And this is a bash file, so what you want to write is essentially things that I keep forgetting. So it's hashtag bank slash user bin env. And this is a, an environment and the environment is node. So anything after that is node code. So that means if I do console.log and I say, hello world, I'm Martha, right? If I do that now and this is not enough. So now I want to execute Martha. How do I execute Martha? You go to package.json and you create a new entry called bin, the binary, right? Then it's just a JSON file. And the key for to that is your command that you, your beautiful command that the users will see, that the users will use. And what it will run essentially is you would think that you want to hide. So that's Martha. Okay. And obviously, guys, you can create folders like bin and sorts, but I don't like to throw them to folders for no reason whatsoever because just confuse thing, right? It just doesn't have to be a bin folder. It's just you can throw it anywhere you want. For organization, obviously, yes, but you know me. I like to think simple. I don't like to complicate things. Okay. Touch five. Martha will get executed. Okay. Martha has this code. So, and this is now binary is now configured. One last thing to do to link it or not to link that is the question so you're going to do a sudo npm and then you do literally link and this command will look for the package.json it will find there is a bin it will find martha it will find touch5 and they're going to link them together it has to be sudo because it's the linkable the operating system so it's like uh, 
an operating system command so it's an admin and look at that touch five is now created and then martha it's linked to martha so now if i do touch five here it's executed if i go somewhere else let's go to the command prompt touch five runs if i go to any folder touch five it runs that is beautiful stuff it runs everywhere that's what we want guys but the message is just weird what the heck is this hello world i'm martha uh, let's write some real code guys so go back to martha and let's write actual node.js code to that will actually execute our code guys what do we do what do we do okay here's where our code is and here's where the bash so we need to require that and then execute it right we're going to call this function which is called write html5 to do that you're going to do uh exports dot literally any file any function name you want let's go that write html5 public right i don't want to use the same name just so you guys know that what's the difference okay so that's the function i just wrote it's here and that's the function that the public will use and the first customer is martha martha let's do this okay so i'm gonna require a code and then it's literally you're gonna do uh slash index.js you don't have to know it's index.js you do that and then you do call write i forgot this function name already write html phone public and then you boop boop and invoke it, invoke it is that enough let's see hopefully it's enough let's go to the command prompt now, if I do touch five and I say Hussein.html, ooh, something happened. Yes, it created the file. What's inside it? What's inside it? What's it? Ooh, it worked. It worked. And if I do like touch five, Edmond.html, if I can spell Edmond, look at that. Nice stuff. All right, one last thing, guys. One last thing. What I want to do is essentially do a real HTML page, five page. So what we're going to do is index.html5 and uh, Visual Studio Code give us like a nice shortcut where you can do that, HTML5, and it will just spit off an actual HTML5, how it's supposed to look like. And here, what we want to do is read the HTML5. So do what? File system to read file synchronously, because why not? And then what we're going to do is here we will need to use the dir name okay and then index.html dir name is where your code is located it's not process.current worker directly is where your process is running from the directory so these are different okay so dir name is where the code and it's always going to be in the same code right because I'm, I'm, I want to get the index of HTML. And you cannot use like, uh, what's it called? Relative directories because it's going to get confusing, right? Especially if you're running from different directories. So you got to use the DIR name. We got that. We got HTML5. And that's what we will spit. And then guess what? Just saved. Go back. And then let's just do touch5. Edmond.html. Let's check Edmond. Check Edmond out. Ah, fancy fancy so all right guys hope you enjoyed this video. so we built a command line utility from scratch from nothing and we built a cool application so guys take this and run with it you can write your own command line utility that will help you do stuff and maybe in another video we're going to show you how to publish this to the npm package uh, repository or registry or whatever they call it where you can go to another computer and do npm install touch 5 and you can immediately use it right install it globally so you can use it everywhere all right guys hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it give it a like and share it with your friends and i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome